I woke up this morning with headlines I could not believe. Health insurance profits up 56%. 56%. And they had 3 million less subscribers. Five insurance carriers were mentioned. How could that possibly be? Well, if insurance carrier makes more profit, it's either charging too much or they're denying you access to health care so you can't spend the money that they got for your premiums. That's the only way I can come up with it. I don't see them uh, taking salary reduction. That was done in the article. Let's look at the government-run health care system. New York City got $31 million to give a vaccine they did not pay for. They set up a phone system that only got a little bit, 450 calls approximately. It cost them $6,000 a call. So the government runs health care terribly. The insurance carriers are making a lot of profits. Let's look at the solo practice, which I happen to be. We gave the swine flu. We made virtually nothing for it. Yet the city got $155 a dose. Is that fair? Uh, when we give vaccines, my cost to vaccine a thousand kids and a private patient is $1,600. For a practice of a thousand patients, it's $1.6 million. You can't ask a private doctor to lay out that kind of money hoping you get paid or get denied by insurance carriers. A new thing which is happening with a lot of the insurance carriers, they're going back up to two years asking for money back. They'll say the insurance uh, was in effect, they had other insurance, so they asked the money back. Well, maybe they're justified. But now I have to build another insurance company. It's more than a year or two years old. I can't do it because some of them have a three-month or a six-month limit to build. Otherwise, it's called not timely filings. We can't do it. How do you expect anybody to survive in a situation like this? So I think we should look at what's happening. The government's certainly not going to fix health care. They'll destroy health care. The insurance industry doesn't care if people get treated correctly as long as the net profit's up 56%. And the stockholders must be very happy. If we want to fix health care, talk to some doctors who are in practice. Don't ask to the professors at Harvard and Yale because they don't see patients. Go to speak to some doctors, some pediatricians, some primary care physicians who have been practice for 20 or 30 years. They'll tell you which one with it, how to fix it. Oh, the uninsured, that can be fixed in one day and very cheap. Doctors go to medical school, they lay out a lot of money, a quarter of a million dollars. Many of them have loans equal to that number. Let them see these patients when they're in private practice for free. Get a $50 reduction and their loan. That could go to a doctor in practice who had to buy vaccines or has a practice loan to get it reduced. They would be looking for these patients. You could do that for pharmacists, nurses, physiotherapists, special ed teachers. And then if you decided that you wanted to go or your child wanted to go become a physician, a nurse, whatever it is, they could afford to do it because they could pay off their loan. That's a win-win. So down the road, I hope people look at this a little bit differently. We'll see, look from the point of view, what physicians who are trying to do the job correctly could stay in private practice. Thank you.